What's up, everybody? Like a lot of you, I really want to see the Snyder Cut of the Justice League movie. And we haven't had any trailers or any official marketing, just the uh, online campaigns to release it. Now we have sort of, well, kind of a trailer, an honest trailer <laughs> of the Snyder Cut. Not an official one, but still, let's check it out. Yep, see what I mean? This episode is sponsored by Google Play with the help of the Battle Cats. Will Battle Cats help us get the snare cut? From the studio, who's so cheap, they won't even pay off critics like Marvel clearly does. <laughs> and the director single handedly keeping Vero relevant comes the most incredible alternate version of a film since Colin Trevorrow's Star Wars, Joe Durant's wow. new, and the butthole cut of cats combined. <laughs> Justice League. The Snyder Cut. Audiences were ready for JL to be the big payoff to Zack Snyder's DC trilogy. But when it, uh, wasn't great, fans knew the version they saw was the watered-down result of a vast conspiracy. And demanded Warner Brothers release the Snyder Cut with a barrage of petitions, airplanes, see one, yeah, see? Times Square billboards, and a hashtag so powerful, not even the dead were safe. That's rude. <laughs> now... This righteous crusade is born fruit in a cut that doesn't just make Justice League into a good movie. It transforms it into the best movie ever made. And yes, that includes Sucker Punch. Settle in for a film that fixes every plot hole in the theatrical release by having all of the possible plots at once. Adding in a young dark side origin story. A B story where Cyborg travels to our past to change the future. And extended role for Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. Another Batflag CrossFit scene. In fact, everyone gets a CrossFit scene. <laughs> also featuring the restoration of Wonder Woman's original mustache. What? Superman, I think they mean Superman's Superman, mustache. A heartfelt apology from the cast of Ghostbusters 2016. <laughs> and Alfred reading his favorite parts of Atlas Shrug to the team over their communicators. Is it ever proper to help out another man? No, but he demands it as his right, as a duty that you owe him. Yes, if it's your own free choice, based on your judgment of the value of that person in his struggle. Woo! This country wasn't built by men who sought handouts. In its brilliant youth, this country showed the rest of the world what greatness was. This goes on for 20 more minutes. All resulting <laughs> in a film that ends up longer than Titanic, but is so definitive, it shuts the door on comic book movies forever. Sorry, Disney. That's a wrap in the whole genre. We're done here. Go back to making Kurt Russell talk robot. Apple Jack Pompey <laughs> Palace. The thrill as Josh Whedon's trademark quipsy dialogue is sent to hell where it belongs. Whoa. As the cast returns to make sure all their lines match the original tone. Right ain't over yet. <laughs> I'm sad. And instead of that cutesy foot race ending straight out of an Avengers movie. It ends with the Joker killing Lois Lane and blowing up all of Metropolis. So Superman like goes nuts and then burns a hole through Shazam's head. And Whoa! Wait, am I getting the DCEU mixed up with the Injustice game again? Doesn't matter. Still I think it sick. might be. So surrender your body, mind, and soul to a film that's taken on mythic proportions that exceeds your wildest imagination and showed an entire generation that you could gang tweet your dreams into existence. Or this has all been employed to boost sign-ups for HBO Max. Aw, oh, crap, we've been duped again, haven't we? Uh, can anyone remove a Snyder Cut tattoo from a lower back? Asking for a friend. Starring the original cast of Justice League, plus Lobo, Damian Wayne, Booster Gold, Hawkman, Catwoman, Catman, oh. Crypto, Raven, Martian Manhunter, Dr. Manhattan, and <laughs> Green Lantern. Come on, give the guy another shot. Uh, that ain't happening. He's dead cool now. Well, this was a fun April Fool's joke, but seriously, finish the Snyder Cut and put it out so we can move on to demanding the Del Toro cut of The Hobbit, the finished cut of Suicide Squad, and the anyone else cut of Game of Thrones Season 8. Oh yeah, just hilarious, but in all seriousness, well, you know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I want to see the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Come on, World Brothers, let's see it. I mean, even the cast is petitioning to see it. And, on uh, a more serious note, I do feel kind of bad for how the movie ended up with the tragedy of Snack Snyder's family. I mean, ugh, I can't 
can't imagine him doing something like that. I mean, if only they just re delayed the release date of the movie, it would have been a much better end result and, and it would have had a much better legacy than what we got, but that's why we're petitioning for the scenario cuts. So, like I said, come on, Warner Brothers. Let's see it.